Welcome to Deep into Sleep with Dr. Ishan Shu. Let's improve sleep quality and live a healthy life together. Let's go deep into sleep. And now, please welcome your host, Ishan. Hi, everyone. This is Ishan. Very nice to meet you all. I'm so happy and so excited to open this podcast because I really want to share with you all about what I have learned, what I have done about sleep. To introduce myself briefly, I'm a clinical psychologist and I am a sleep specialist. So、uh, the more I have learned about sleep, the more I find that I don't know about sleep. So when I first Start learning about it. I was so surprised. My mind was blown that all these years of training and working, I never know there's so many knowledge about sleep that I never heard of. So I want to ask you all: How much do you know about sleep? Do you know that there are more than eighty million Americans that suffer from some kind of sleep disorder? Do you know how many sleep disorders are out there? There are at least seventy, yes, seven zero recognizable sleep disorders to date. Also, do you know how many times we normally wake up per night as an adult? That is normal. Actually, we all wake up more than ten times on average per night. Which is very normal and okay. Also, do you know that whether we are night owl, we are early morning person, decided actually by our gene, at least fifty percent of our circadian rhythm actually is decided by our genes. And the company Twenty Three and Me recently they did research using their database. And they provide more evidence supporting this statement. Also, do you know that actually drowsy driving is as harmful as drunk driving? And they can both kill you and harm you in a lot of ways. However, there are regulations out there for drunk driving, but there's nothing like that. For drowsy driving, when we feel super sleepy, we still go on the road to drive. Actually, two of my best friends in graduate school, they they both went on the road, drive their car when they were very sleepy, and they both had a car accident. Fortunately, they are both okay, but they destroyed their cars, both of them. Think about it. How dangerous that was! They could get hurt. It could be very traumatic. So overall, what I have learned taught me that sleep actually is a very individual thing. Everyone's sleep look very differently, and the science behind sleep has developed for only about fifty years, and it's so fascinating. And there are so many knowledge, so many research behind sleep. So I want to use this podcast to share all those knowledge that I have learned about sleep. I want to、uh, invite people over to talk about their struggles with sleep or their knowledge with treating sleep disorders. I will interview people from all kinds of field, not only doctors and psychologists, but also people who are engineers, teachers. Uh, architectures, designers, from all kinds of working background to talk about w- what they have learned about sleep and how they have lived with different sleep patterns, how they adjust sleep to make it work for them. I want to share all this experience and knowledge with you all to help you improve sleep quality and live a happier life. You can find more information in our website at deepintosleep. dot co. Thank you for joining me in this journey. Look forward to seeing you again next time. 
Sleep is an individual thing. We all sleep differently, and there is so much we can do to improve sleep quality. Keep hope and carry on. This podcast is for general informational purpose only and does not include the practice of medicine or other health professional services. Usage of the information we share is at the listener's own risk. And our content does not intend to be a substitute for any medical and professional services, diagnoses, and treatment. Please seek professional health services as needed.